Welcome to Worship Splitter Hangout. My name is Chad. Today we are going to do a song reaction slash review kind of thing uh, for the song called Breakthrough by Red Rocks Worship. I'm excited to get into the song. I might insert a few, you know, thoughts here or there. But at the end, I'll talk about, you know, my thoughts as far as uh, lyrically and musically and spiritually and things like that, and just kind of give you some of my thoughts about the song and, um, you know, if I think I'm going to use it for my church, that kind of thing. So let's get right into it. I'm ready to listen. Let me get my ears in. I love live worship videos. Mm. I love his voice already. <laughs> so good. Mm. This has 5 million views while I'm watching it. Yeah, right into the chorus here. I like that. Powerful. Everything just drops out in this part. I love that. Is that auto-tune? I love the editing too. It's killer. I have a feeling your drummers are going to like this song too. That was powerful. That was so good. I'm so glad I, I finally heard that song. It came out... Um, that video was released in March of 2019. It is now June of 2020 when I'm recording this. Yeah, I love it, man. I love the ad libs. Um, you can tell it's very singable. I mean, you can catch on very quick. Like I said, I, you know, I only heard that song like once before and, you know, listen to it again, being able to react to it. I was like, you know, it's, it's very memorable. Like I said, I love that lead synth sound whatever that sound is they use um throughout the whole song that's just it's a uh, it's very crisp and it just cuts through but not too loud and annoying or anything like that and the harmonies are super nice too i really only heard uh two harmonies and then of course your your like that choir sound behind them so i really like that this song is very encouraging to the congregation that no matter what circumstance that they're in god is there to stand by their side and see them through because there will be breakthrough like the song says, I believe that there will be breakthrough. Um, I love that, especially with uh, the most recent events that have been going on in our world lately. Um, yeah, I, I'm not going to go into those right now, but we just, we need to see a breakthrough. We need God to stand by our side, you know, no matter who we are. Um, and, and I just, I love this encouragement. I just feel like this is uh, I've already decided I'm doing this with my church, and I believe that it would just be a great song to sing together, very powerful, very um, uplifting, but also worshipful, just telling God who He is, your power, your presence, break strongholds, King of heaven. When you speak, mountains move, I believe there would be breakthrough. It's just, uh, it's, it's powerful. That's really all I can say. It's, it's anointed, too. I really like that the verses just kind of lay it all out. They say, <laughs> uh, here's verse one. I'm weary from the waves, crashing over day by day. God of mercy, please come rescue me. Just straight, just raw, raw emotion right there. I'm longing for your voice, the gentle whisper in the noise. Father, tell me everything's all right. I mean, haven't we been there before where we're just sitting like, please tell me everything's going to be okay. Like I, I, I relate with this song so I Mm, I feel it. I feel it. And then right, they come right in immediately. Your power, your presence breaks. Oh man. I really like that Red Rocks worship um, kind of left in that spontaneous moment. Whether that spontaneous moment happened in a rehearsal, I don't know. I saw another guy, I don't, whether he was playing keys, I don't whatever he was playing in the background, he, he also kind of knew some of the lines to that like right away, some of the ad lib. Um, in that part, there would be, there would be victory. And there's a part at the end that he kind of sang with the lead singer. So that just kind of gave me a clue that, okay, maybe, maybe they came up with that part in a rehearsal session or in another, um, worship set that they were like, okay, we got to add that to the song and, and make that a part of our live recording. That's probably what happened because they, they played it really well. They executed that uh, with excellence, which sometimes that doesn't happen in spontaneous moments. Spontaneous moments can just be off the wall, um, but you find those sometimes we're just like, we have to continue to use that in the song the next time we do it. I, I believe that's what happened here. The lyrics are powerful, very memorable. It's easy to learn, and which is great for the congregation. Musically, this song is very well played and recorded. Um, I know that won't be the case for every church that does this song, but at least they set the bar. They said it can be this good or better even. Uh, the chord progressions kind of lend themselves to be changed or um, 
enhanced or whatever you want to call it, flipped, sometimes we call it that. You can do so much more uh, when it comes to, this, to, to the music. But I like the simplicity at the same time. I mean, look at the verse. The verse is one, four, six, four, one progression. Uh, the chorus is a uh, four, five, six, back to the one. And then the second half of the chorus is four, five, six, one over three, four, and five. And then if you want to repeat that, then you'd go back to the four, five, six, one. But anyway, um, the bridge is a four, five, six, five over seven to a one to a five. And like we said earlier, I'm pretty sure that the uh, There Will Be Victory section is exactly the same as the bridge. So musically, as far as the chord progression, super easy, super easy to learn. It'll be a great song um, for your, your beginners as well as the professionals. This chord progression is not so easy that it makes it feel cheesy, which I like that. It's very elegant. So overall, let's give this song a rating. Lyrically, I give it an eight out of 10. It's biblical, it's powerful, it's easy to learn, easy to sing, the, the melody. Anyway, it's great, eight out of 10. And then musically, I give it a seven out of 10. Um, not their playing, they are excellent. They're musicians, all of them, they're excellent. But musically is a seven out of 10. Um, yeah, there probably could have been more that they, they do. And quite frankly, I may never give any song a 10 out of 10. So we'll see. We'll see what happens in the future. I want to leave you with a verse. It comes out of 1 Corinthians 15. I thought about this um, and, and searched this out after I heard uh, this song for the first time. I tell you this, brothers, flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does the perishable inherit the imperishable. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We all shall not sleep, but shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of the eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised imperishable and we shall be changed. For this perishable body must put on the imperishable and the mortal body must put on immortality. When the perishable puts on the imperishable and the mortal puts on the immortality, then shall come to pass the saying that is written. Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your victory? O death, where is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, beloved brothers, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. We have a job to do. That's to spread the word, spread the gospel. And that's why I want to talk about new songs that make an impact on me, an impression on me, and make me think about the Word of God and what our job is as a Christian. And that's to share the gospel. And that's to love others, all people. Anyway, love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this reaction and review. If there's a song that you would like to see a reaction and review to, leave it in the comments below. I want to see that. I want to uh, learn about all these new songs that are out there and, and talk about them. So subscribe so you don't miss that. Ring the bell if you want to be notified and all that good stuff. Remember, great worship leaders are always learning. Love you guys. See you.